Hello everybody, it's Jonathan here, your South London bottle digger, Red Robin tip bottle digger. It's been a long time, I keep saying it in the past, but I'm back, I'm digging and I've got a new follower. It's the Chigger. That's going to be a lot to live up to, I tell you. Anyway, um... We've got a lot of bottles in the hole and they're probably not particularly interesting and I'm going to extract them live so we'll see some live digging in action. Oh, we've got a new phone, finally, so two years of pretty much not being able to do bugger all. Ugh. Finally I can do something. And the first one is... Plain, probably a perfume bulk perfume bottle. Stuff it up here. I'm surrounded by gnats yet again. There's one here, and that's probably a Bollinger. And this is probably the same, it's probably a Bolly. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Ah, oh, yep, it is. It's a small champagne bottle, a Bollinger type thing. Stuff out there as well. We'll go for one on the right here, I think. Now, we'll wiggle it a bit. Oh. Oh, I think it's a perfume again. It's a bit stubborn. Ah. Oh, I'll probably left the rest of it behind. That's an interesting... Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. That's an interesting shape. Oh. Very small remnant of the label. Stuff out there, gnats are still after me. There's one, and there's a bottle here. The glass looks a bit odd, and the gnats. Oh dear. Oh, what's this then? Just the tablespoons, I think. Yeah, it's a tablespoons, cork top 20s, well, early 30s tablespoons. Uh, scratcher. I know what that is. That's boring as hell. What that is? That's a shipman's paste. Yeah. Boring jars. Shipman's paste. Everybody knows and hates shipman's paste. There's another one down here, and uh, unfortunately, that also is probably not very interesting. Yeah, just as I thought. California Fig Syrup product successor. There's another one here. Oh, I have got a selfie stick now. I tried to use it, it's only a very cheap one. And three times I tried to do a video of me planting some trees nearby. And every time I press record, no audio. And the one time I did test it without actually going to record something, there was sound. And I hate technology, I hate it with a passion because it never works when you want it. See, and that needs a bit more. And this, again, is not likely to be very interesting. But that's bottle digging for you, but we'll give it a go. Bloody gnats everywhere. It's coming out. Ah, well, I thought it was coming out. 
Oh, he's nuts. I just wish I could record video properly like everybody else does, but it's just it's not possible. <laughs> Probably another tablespoons. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's another tablespoons. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. That's pretty boring to me. Oh dear. And another Bollinger. Oh. <sighs> a bigger one. Yeah, that's another champagne. Old champagne. Oh dear, oh dear. Just a load of bulk. <laughs> Boring bulk, basically. Apart from maybe the oh, gnats, sorry, the um, perfume bottle. But I can't see anything else in the hole. I've already dug it all out. So yet again, unfortunately, not very interesting. But there is something up here that I dug up earlier that is a little bit better. This here is a screw top. And we all know what we think about screw tops, but I'll give it a clean up. I haven't done that yet. It's in fact a Horlix. It's a Diddy Horlix. Horlix Malted Milk Slough Bucks England, the original. That is the smallest Horlix I've ever found at Red Robin bottle tip and I'm pretty chuffed about that because I haven't found one of these before so yeah I'm really happy about a smaller Horlix lovely I'm loving that I wish I could get further away I wish I could record decent video oh, any tips let me know oh, I've got a new Samsung S8. Unfortunately, I have trouble getting it to communicate with my iMac, which is the biggest mistake of my life, basically, getting an iMac. Blue tile, complete little blue tile. That's a funny colour, isn't it? Yeah. And, wow, what is that? That's a, a 1930 SIM card. A SIM card from the early 1930s. Tiny little thing that is. Would you believe it? Wow. Art Deco SIM card for a phone. Amazing. Another little diddy bottle. Midges and gnats are still after me. It, oh, it's damaged. Actually, I think it might have started cracking up after I dug it out. And that was amber with a little Bakelite top Art Deco bottle, but it, see, it's completely cracked up. <laughs> Midges are going to, oh, they're after me face. Bastards. I'm going to get eaten alive. Again, probably a, no, that's got a big crack in it. Another one with a big crack in it. Bag of shame. As little John would say, bag of shame. Uh, you know what that is, Heinz, yeah, it's a tomato ketchup. So no, not particularly interesting today, and that's probably a disparin. Oh dear, yeah, I'm back. I'm giving it a go. But this hole, although I've taken a lot out, I think the only thing that's actually whew, midges actually I like is the Horlicks and possibly the the perfume bottle champagnes yeah well I think I might have to end it there and just keep digging really hopefully I'll find slightly better something slightly more interesting but back at Red Robin bottle tip 
Oh. The base of it is there. Another tree's come down basically and it's very, it's only a foot under the topsoil and then you've got another foot and then you're back onto, uh, and that's a piece of wood, probably a frame for a poster. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what that is. It does look like wood. What is that? It looks like metal at the end. Maybe it's part of a pram. Uh, probably. Yeah. Oh, well. Not bad. Over 10 minutes of footage. Nothing, unfortunately, and that's bottle digging for you. Nothing particularly interesting, apart from the Horlicks. And I think I will end it there. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.